There's something really beautiful about the process of making photographs with a large format camera. Particularly when you're making portraits, it becomes an almost collaborative experience where your subject really participates in the whole experience. Once you've set up the shot, loaded your film holder, you can no longer look through the ground glass and see your subject and you pretty much take a sidestep and leave your subject to engage with the camera when the portrait is being made. And there's something really quite beautiful about that whole process. But as with other film formats, the, 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 the process behind the image is one that I've always been really drawn to. And when I first wanted to make pictures in a large format, I was really quite scared about the, the whole process of loading film. So in this video I want to um, provide a wee short explanation of how I load FIFO film. So we'll start with the, the film holder, which is sometimes called a double dark slide because it holds two sheets of film and has a dark slide on each side. And the main unit has a spine in the middle and each side has a wee hinged door or hinged flap at the bottom. This is where you load the film from this side. And it's probably impossible to see in this video but each of these edges has two slots, two channels, rebates that run the full length. The uppermost holds the dark slide and the lower is the one that you are going to try and slide the film under. And then the dark slide fits into a rebate in the bottom hinged flap and there are two wee metal pins at the top that you fold round to stop it coming out. And these particular dark slides have a white edge on one side and a black edge on the other and that's really helpful so that you can identify a film that you've exposed already. Say you wanted to take one picture, say you wanted to take one picture before you moved on to another setup and you'd expose the film on this side, you would put the dark slide back in with the black edge facing out, which would, for me, signify an exposed sheet of film, and the white edge is loaded and unexposed. So that's a really useful way to keep on top of what you've shot and what you've not. Because if you're, if you're making a lot of sheets of film for, of different subjects, different settings, in the same day it can get quite confusing so that's a really handy aspect about the film holders. Now the film itself will come in a box and I've used loads of different types of film and they all tend to be pretty much the same. Because bear in mind this has to be done in total darkness you can't do this in safe light so it's got to be complete blackout and I actually, although my dark room does blackout I still use a changing bag because I've got kids, my dark room is at home and they can occasionally come running in to the dark room I've had to restart this video about six times already because of kids coming in <laughs> so each box is the same, you'll have an outer box and an inner box and within that inner box there will be a thick black bag. It's the same type of bag that bag same type of bag that you get film stock in. Eh, sorry, it's the same type of bag that you get photographic paper in, thick black shiny. And this is HP5 and the film normally comes wrapped in this V cardboard flap and your film sits inside it. Some films, Adox I think was the last one I used, has sheets of paper in between the film which is a wee bit annoying, um, but I'm sure it's very useful. And this is a sheet of film which is obviously ruined now because it's been exposed to light. 
and all film stock has a set of notches on one corner and the way I work is to always have that notch at the top right hand corner and I know that with the notch at the top right hand corner when it's in my hand the emulsion side which is this matte grey side is going to be facing up the shiny side on the back is the film back so I orientate it notches to the top right hand side and each film has a different pattern of notches it's like a wee code so even if you were left handed the notches at the top right would work or if you preferred to have it bottom left if you were left handed or right handed as long as you know that whatever way you're holding it you're going to have the emulsion side the right way it's nothing worse than loading all your film the wrong way around and then developing them and, and having no pictures to see so let's try and avoid that so my process in the dark changing bag would be to ensure first of all that all the dark slides have the white edge facing out and then I would open the dark slide but not take it out and then I would open the cardboard and take out a sheet of film and I'm feeling this to ensure that the notches are in the top right hand corner and then I'm opening the flap on the bottom of the film holder and then I'm placing the film inside and just I can feel it there it started to engage already and is being taken up underneath the two wee rebates either side and you push it up as far as it will go and then you close the flap at the bottom push down your dark slide and that locks in place and then turn around one of these wee metal tabs and that prevents you from opening it in mis by mistake so the process again open the dark slide open the hinge at the bottom get my sheet of film and I'm ensuring that the notches are on the top right and then turning it so that I can slide the film underneath the rebates close that over and push the dark slide back in and lock it off with the wee pin at the end and that's your film loaded and you are ready to go and make some 5-4 masterpieces. Good luck. Thank mm -hmm. you.